so they've now released these uh, steel spike ball men. I don't know what they're called, excuse me. Now then, ladies. There he is. Oh, oh look at him. Oh, 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 to you, yes. You brute. <laughs> yes, I told him. <laughs> He's bad tempered, isn't he? Um, now, where were we? Um, let me see. Um, um, The, uh, the dogfish here can still get you if you swim too close, so I'd be careful. And the vault is now open. All we had to do is turn it to right. Hello? Um, hello? Money? Money? <laughs> Who the hell are you? No way, my boss! I'm out of here! I'm swimming with the fishes! Oh, this gate gets worse and worse by the minute. I don't know, this is a damn sight better to uh, swim around in shit, but... Now we have a code we have to crack in order to open this grate. So I'll let you figure this out. And I'll stay quiet for a little bit. Oh, fuck. Alright, now that that's done, we've opened the opened the uh, floorboards here, and it's another swimming section. This one has a gimmick. Okay, so for this, not only do we need to avoid drowning by swimming over these bubble machines, but we also have to not be eaten by these eyeball monsters. In order to do that, you just shine the light from the helmet into their face. Fuck! Uh, so not like that. But, however, over time, the helmet will lose its power and you'll have to get a new battery. In which case, you will not be able to avoid getting eaten by the eyeballs. Unless, of course, you are very good at avoiding them. So, it, it can be quite tricky. Especially if you don't know where you're going. So, I would expect... I would expect... On your first time through here, you would probably die a couple of times. But maybe... Maybe not. I could, I could be underestimating you. But we have many tunnels, all of which are quite maze-like. There's no fucking bubble machine. Oh god. So you'll see in the right there that Conker's face is getting quite bad, and we're very close to drowning. Now, I have yet to figure out if the tunnels are actually in any order whether or not the blinking lights are an indication of the way that you need to go. I usually just choose a random tunnel and hope that it's the right one. And it usually works out for me pretty well. Uh -oh. 
So I feel really bad for you if you found the exit there before you pulled the lever. So now we have to try and pick the right tunnel to go through. I, having said that, it seems like there's only one. So ignore me. <laughs> Though I expect you already have been. So it's not saying much. Let's get a new battery for the run home. So all the sections in this game aren't very long if you know what you're doing. I'm going to pick the top yellow tunnel. I'm going to hope that's the right way. I think the bottom and the top tunnels lead to the same area, but I don't want to say that for a fact just in case. Alright, now we just need to head up. So we should be able to do that with relative ease. Presuming that there is some bobble machines around. Yep, there's one. And we can see the end in sight. Oh, there we go. Just hide in the corner. We didn't even need a light. So we're very deep in the tower now, I would assume. Okay, so, again, uh, I'm just going to take a look around and then I'm going to be silent and let this section of the game speak for itself. So, uh, don't touch the red devils and I'll see, I'll uh, talk to you again in a bit. <laughs> Okay, so in case you need a distraction from how uh, inherently disgusting this actually is, uh, I will talk a bit about what you have to do here. So, in order to make the stream go further, you need to hold the Z button down, but holding it down too far will make it obviously overshoot your target. So you need to do a combination of tapping and holding the Z button. Now, if you manage to fail this, you'll go into hangover mode, and then you'll need to go to the medicine chest and do it all over again. Let's do the big, big guy! Yeah, the big, big guy! Hey, he sounds really pompy, like like an English person. 
Is he up to this job, you reckon? Hey, up to this job? Let me show you something. See that button there? Yeah. The one with that? Yeah. Press it. Oh, I see what you mean. Balls of the brass are polished to the nth degree. Oh, no. A bourgeois big ball of boiler. That's all I need. So if this has now gotten <laughs> to be too much for you, I wouldn't blame you, but I'm afraid it just has to be done. So we're going to have to kite this guy over to these grates and then pull on those, uh, pull on those fucking chains, I guess, uh, because, whoa, that is the way that we're going to defeat the boss and he fucking avoided it. Well, shit me. Um, I don't know why I did it again. So as you can see, we need to dump shit on him, and then, well, who knows what we do then. So we're going to try and get him to walk into the right area. How are we going to do that? Um, come on, dude. Over here. What are you even here for if not to kill me? Come on. <laughs> oh, fuck ya. Yeah. Pull on this one then. Oh, come on, dipshit. There we go. So why is this happening? Who fucking knows? <laughs> I just... I just don't know at all. Who saw this coming, huh? I'm not sure where the idea for this came from, actually. It's like they sat there in the, uh, in the drawing room and they came up with this idea like shit we need we need to hit someone's nuts with a brick now how can we how can we shove uh, hitting someone's nuts with a brick into the game somehow well by doing this of course Makes perfect sense, you see. I love the sound that the uh, balls make. They sound like they have some serious weight to them. Listen to this. So we can see down there there's a wall with uh, a ball on it. And uh, that wasn't meant to rhyme, but it did, so... Thank Christ for that, I guess, the small things in life. Too easy. Hey. And the money is right where we wanted it. Somebody get me. So, you want some great stuff? 
Yeah, cash prizes. We're done, we're done, we got all the money. We're done, we're done, we got all the money. Fuck yeah. Do do do. Let's go. Yeah, I think it's time we were off as well. This is going to uh, start getting nasty in a second. Oh, good lord. Alright, go, 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 go. worked out in the end, didn't it? So, we can now get these three stacks of money. Hey, over here! Ugh, oh, what the fuck? Just totally face planted. We have $710. So, let's see how much we'll have after this. So what what uh, makes me laugh in this area is that there's the tower there, rendered in 3D goodness. Uh, but you could also see the tower in the skybox to, to the left there. And they tried to hide that 2D tower behind the scenery. So when you're down here, you can't actually see it. So it looks like you've uh, come to the tower itself. But uh, they didn't try hard enough to hide it. But that's okay, developer oversight. I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.